Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Romero Threads YouTube page. My name is Eva Romero and today we are setting up the 15 needle one head embroidery machine. We're going to talk about different types of needles we're using, our thread, and kind of like our game plan on where to specifically place each needle and why we're doing such. Okay, first, let's talk about setting up our needles, okay? So I made this chart here. I'll post a picture of it and uh, you could get a screen capture also of our game plan for today, okay? So we have 15 needles. So each needle is going to play a specific role with a specific color that we're going to use, okay? So needle number one, that's really the needle that we trace with. I am going to have a 7511, just a universal one, normal one. And we're going to use that number one just to swap out any uh, different types of colors, okay? We have um, just colors that we don't use every day. And if we need to stick in a, uh, uh, a color that is not very common, we'll just throw it there in that number one, okay? Okay, we're going to dedicate two, three, four, five, six specifically for hats, okay? And not just hats, but puff, 3D foam, okay? We usually use the three millimeter. That's just standard puff that we use. And we are specifically using the 8012 sharp titanium, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, five needles specifically for hats titanium 80 okay so 80 the size 80 it just means it's a little bigger than your average 75 and we've been using that forever okay and it gives us excellent results it goes through that foam like butter okay all day and really that's probably 90 percent of what we do here are hats specifically 3d foam hats okay so we got that, so that covers pretty much all the way to number six, okay? Now, seven, eight, nine, we're going to use it, 7511 sharp. Now, it's kind of similar to the 80, except it's not as big, okay? So it's not gonna leave the, the, the bigger holes, okay? So that's specifically if we're going to do hats that are not foam or just anything that's, uh, hard fabric okay we're gonna we're going to use the seven eight nine okay and going back one on our uh, 80 10 the the colors we're going to have are black white silver gold okay those are our common colors that we use okay we do a lot of military type hats okay so we're doing those colors all day and i'm going to have two blacks so like that we can rotate on the needle so the same needle isn't getting used up always okay so one week we'll use one needle and the next week we'll use another one okay just so we could kind of rotate each other all right because black is really our number one color we'll go through black all day all night okay so we got as you can see we have a lot of black all around that's just really the most basic color that we use all right okay so Seven, eight, nine, we have the sharp, uh, okay? We'll have black, we'll have the white, okay? And then we'll have any other color that we like to use. All right, now this is the big one, okay? 10, 11, 12, okay? That's for our 65, nine. These are for the thinner thread, okay? This is for small text, okay? Specifically, specifically, for polo shirts that have small tags or hats that have small tags, okay? So we're going 10, 11, 12. We have three more needles left, okay? So with those three needles, we're just going to use the 7511, but not sharp. It's going to be the round, okay? That's specifically for softer materials, specifically uh, sweaters, knit sweaters, towels, okay? Okay, so what I would recommend is set something up like this but according to what you embroider okay so depending some people do shirts sweaters 
pillows, uh, towels, you know, the majority of their stuff. Even though we do all that, you know, I kind of leave that kind of the last three to give me that option. But these are like, these are my workhorses here. Now, after a month, after these needles or this, or this uh, portion of the machine gets used up, now I could, ro I could switch it up and move it kind of towards the back end. And like that, you know, the machine is getting full use and you know, not just one needle is getting beat up throughout the whole year. Okay, like that, you spread the love and all the needles are doing work. Okay, so some of the threads that we use, we use the Madeira threads. Okay, this is the black. We have blacks since we use a lot of black. Okay, I have two here that I'm setting up. I already have one on the machine. Okay, we have the silver. Okay, we do a lot of military type hats. Okay, these are the colors that we usually use. All right, we have our whites, of course, and we also have our 65 nine okay so this is for thinner designs such as small text small logos okay so we got these ready to go all right and we also have the metallic all right metallic make sure before you commit yourself to any big projects you learn how to use the metallic okay because there's some learning on that, all right? You can't just go ahead and throw that metallic and let it run by itself. You need to do a little tweaking every now and then. And you might need an 80 needle or a 90, okay? Depending on how your thread is acting up, okay? Okay, some of the needles that we got, we got the 75 RG, all right? That's the sharp, all right, 7511. FFG, that's the ballpoint, all right? That's for your knits. That's for your softer material. This is our 65.9. This is the needle that we use that goes with the smaller thread, all right? And we like to get the 100 count needles, all right? So just like that, you're not limited in trying to you know, squeeze out the juice out of every needle. All right, you see a needle acting up, you could just toss it out and move on. All right, thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and all that good stuff, all right? Peace.